I'm going to walk you through how to do in-market targeting using Google, which is one of the biggest advantages of using Google, period. So here I am within the ad group section of the Google Ads Manager. So I'm going to hit this blue create ad group button. And I'm going to go down here to the targeting options. So I'm going to hit add targeting. And what we're going to do here is select audience segments. And I could begin by typing in things here. I could start selecting things here. But what I want to do is just go to the browse section. And browse is going to give us some different options. So detailed demographics, affinities, in-market and life events, your data and similar segments, combined segments, custom segments. The one we're interested in is the in-market and life events, which is what they're actively researching or planning. So let's, let's click in there. And we can see here that there are various in-market segments. So people that are in-market for apparel and accessories arts and crafts, autos and vehicles, baby and children products, beauty and personal care, business and industrial products will be very useful from a business to business perspective, business services, and then we can see the different subcategories here. And we can see computers and peripherals. So there's all sorts of in-market targeting that's readily available off the shelf through Google. We don't have to go and pay a company for intent data. We can just select this. So for example, with software, we could check off accounting software and target people that are in market for that. Now, if we understand the customer journey appropriately, it really begins with some sort of trigger event that happens. And uh, that trigger event is going to put people in market. So uh, similar to in market, what we could do is we could target people based on life events. So let, let's try that. So I'm going to close the in market segments and look at life events. So it could be business creation. So for example, if they recently started a business, uh, they may be interested in hiring a lawyer, they may be interested in uh, contract software, they might be interested in uh, buying office space, something like that, college graduation, these people might be interested in, in getting jobs, job changes, marriage, moving, purchasing a home, retirement, uh, perhaps in special need of a certain type of financial planner or uh, any sort of change in their life that might trigger some sort of purchase decision. So both of these are very effective ways of honing in on those people that are uh, potentially in market for the product category that you operate within. I'm also going to attach this Excel document provided by Google that's going to give us a breakdown of what uh, the various segmenting options are for in-market targeting.